how you tune about another video today i'm gonna talk about how to stay more disciplined i'm gonna give you five ways how to stay more disciplined so these are stuff i use and i did in the past to help me stay more disciplined in certain areas of my life like boxing you know and, and working out um, getting the body that I want. As the first thing I started to to do whenever, um, you know, to try and stay more disciplined, I started taking cold showers every single day. And I would be morning and night, I will take two showers a day. And, um, you know, it was really hard, um, especially in the morning time, right when you wake up, you get in that cold shower and you take it. But it really teaches you, you know, um, you know how to, like, get out of your comfort zone and just try new things. It really pushes yourself and really makes you not want to do stuff that really benefits you because cold showers really do be helping you, helps you recover and it can help you also with like, you know, if you're um, having a bad day or having a bad like um, morning, it can really improve your morning taking that cold shower because it's really challenging and, and it releases endorphins in your brain, you know? All right, number two guys, um, I want you guys to stop watching porn a lot of guys be watching porn and you know i'm not saying girls don't do, don't watch it but a lot of some girls do be watching it porn but most mostly guys be watching porn i want you guys to stop doing that um because first of all it drops down your confidence um lowers your self-esteem and also um you know it'll make you feel motivated every time after you you know saying you bust you bust a nut you don't you don't feel good you don't feel right um Especially in doing it that way, like, you don't feel good. And you feel sort of guilt. You feel guilt. You, you feel, um, like, why did I do that? I got a challenge for y'all guys. Stop watching porn. Um, do it for at least a week or two. It depends how addictive you are. If you're not addicted that much, go for a month. Um, if you are pretty addicted to it, because um, that's a drug, it's pretty addicting, you know what I'm saying? Go at least two weeks without doing it. All right, number three, guys. Um, I want you guys to do a hobby. You know, it can be anything. It can be, you know, working out. It can do, be running, playing a sport, you know what I'm saying? Do a hobby. Do a hobby where it's going to, you know, take time off. And this goes hand-in-hand -hand with the um, stop watching porn because when you're watching porn, you take a lot of time of that. Um, you know, porn takes a lot of time of your day. You don't guys don't really be thinking about that, but it really takes a lot of time and energy, you know what I'm saying? But you could you be using that energy to be making new skills, you know what I'm saying? Um, working on you know, a certain skill that you want to be better at. So, yeah, that was number three, guys. I right, number four, guys, uh, I want you guys to pick the right friend group. Um, You know, you are who you hang out with. If you hang out with people that are lazy, you're going to be lazy. If you hang out with people that smoke, you're going to be a smoker. If you hang out with people that are motivated and driven and think positive, you're going to be thinking the same way. So pick the right friend group. Guys. The last one, number five, um, Take time off of your phone. And what I mean by that is off of social media as much as you can, guys. A lot of people, um, you know, go on social media and they compare their life to other people's. Um, you know, um, same thing with people that start working out. You know, they compare themselves to bodybuilders and stuff like that. But they don't really be realizing um, how much time to be putting in there. And then they have different genetics and different body types. So, um, you know, everyone has a different body type. And the way you work out is going to be different, um, you know. Just depends. Some people have better, you know, shoulders than others. Some people have better abs. You know, don't be comparing yourself to other people. Compare yourself to you. So what I would do is I would take a photo of myself. And a few months later, I would take another one and see the difference between it. Like, have I improved? Do I look bigger? Um, do I look leaner? And that's what I would do, guys. That's the best way to stay motivated and really, you know, um, stay focused. So make sure you guys be doing that. All right, guys, I hope you guys um, like this video. If you could like and subscribe, um, I would appreciate that, guys. And if you guys could share it, um, show it to other people, let them know about my um, YouTube channel, I appreciate that, guys. See you in the next one.